For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, we have a nuclear reactor uh, vessel that has a weight of 510 to the 3 uh, pounds. Determine the horizontal compressive force that the spreader bar exerts on point A and the force that each cable segment CA and AD exert on this point while the vessel is hoisted upward at a constant velocity. So this is very simple. Basically you have a weight right here, weight, and this weight is equal to 500 kilopounds, keep, because it stands 10 to the 3, so I call them kilopounds. We have a tension right here and a tension right here. And you know that this sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero, assuming this is the Y and this is the X. So we have two forces that are symmetrical going up. They're equal going up and a weight coming down. So you know that each of these forces is equal to half this weight. So it's equal to 250 kip, 250 kip which means that this tension right here, this tension right here is also 250 keep, 250 keep, and the tension right here is also 250 keep, 250 keep. Sorry if I sound repetitive, it's just that I want those people who have a harder problem understanding to see exactly what's going on. So those of you who are quicker, bear with me, please. So this is kind of small, so I'm going to redraw it right here. We have a 250 keep. We have the slab right here. Two hundred and fifty keep. So the compressive force is basically what you would call the X component of this two hundred and fifty kilopound force. This angle right here, we're told, is thirty degrees. Thirty degrees given right here and right here. So the compressive force is basically the sum of these two X components of this force because they're compressing this slab. So. The X component, let's call it F, right? So F is equal to 250 keep times the cosine of the angle, which is 30 degrees. So the force comes out to be 216.5 pounds. So the compressive force, compressive force being ex exerted onto this slab sorry, force, that's it, is equal to 2 times F, which is equal to 433 kilopounds. So these are all the forces that are acting at the different points of the cable. The cable has the same tension all around, and you have two cables, so that is equal to, uh, each cable is equal to half the, the weight, and this is the compressive force on the slab. Final answer. Final answer and final answer for all the forces. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.